welcome back to TB's My Time TV. I'm your host, Tony Butler. And before I say anything else, can I just wish you all a very happy new year because uh, I've been taking, taking most of last month off because uh, my illnesses are still plaguing me, unfortunately, but um, I'm still smiling and I'm still writing. Anyway, I'm here to demonstrate to you some great guitars which do not cost a lot of money, but in my opinion are great quality and good value. Uh, so without any further ado, I will get on with the guitars, and then after I've done the guitars, I might treat you to a big country bass line. Hmm, let's see. I wonder which one I can do. Here's the guitars. Uh, before I introduce you to the first guitar, I've just got a little story to tell you. Um, in my madness of a couple of years ago, I started sort of purchasing a, a, a few guitars because, uh, because I did a lot of guitar work on my last album, uh, which was called My Time. Uh, I did all the guitar work and I got really interested in guitars because I've been playing bass for nearly 40, 50 years now and I kind of thought I needed a bit of a change just to keep myself interested in music. Um, and obviously because of my illness, I can't really do much more. Anyway, uh, after scouring things like eBay and stuff and having a love of Telecasters and Les Pauls and, and Fenders, um, I came across this green loveliness. And it is truly a loveliness. I'm not going to show you the headstock yet uh, because I just want you to savour this lovely looking guitar. Turn it round so you can see the back. I'm not a great fan of green, but this is a lush, lush green colour. Anyway, so I got this and I started having a good play on it and enjoying it and recording it. And it was, uh, didn't need much in the way of setting up, but as I say, it was second hand. And then I picked up this other piece of loveliness which is again by the same company same firm uh in the lt star and uh, les paul style as i say um this is your standard sort of sunburst but uh it was a very attractive uh guitar and on ebay a very attractive offer uh and the pickup configurations were the ones that really sold it to me because as uh, i really wanted to get involved in getting to know the characteristics of pickups going on. Anyway, I then contacted this particular firm to ask them more about um, their guitars because they're not something we see very often, uh, in uh, particularly new ones. And uh, I know that there's one shop in Bodmin, for all those of you who are in Cornwall, you know where Bodmin is. Uh, there's a shop called Greg's Music. Craig's Music stocks this uh, title in their shop every now and again. And uh, I was just ambitious to find out more about them to see what they do. Uh, anyway, I found that Revelation guitars have come, in, have come out and been born from the, uh, the history of Honer. And Honer were a German company who made lots of quality instruments, classical and contemporary instruments, uh, and then um, morphed, or at least a part of it, morphed into this, uh, this label called Revelation. Uh, the other thing I found out about Revelation is that they have a chap who um, has uh, given himself a great reputation for guitar design, guitar making, but also uh, guitar pickups. Uh, his name is Alan Entwistle. Uh, I'd like to meet him sometime because I think what he's done with these guitars, uh, since I've got to know them, I think is fantastic. And the two Les Pauls I've just showed you are quality guitars and they are quality sounds. Anyway, I spoke to a very nice man at Revelation and they sent me a guitar to review. Uh, so, and they've sent me this beauty, as you can see, got, um, still got the, the tags in it and stuff. It's this uh, natural looking Telecaster. And as you can see, revelation. Uh, it's beautifully made. Uh, the neck is a two piece neck, as one would expect. Uh, the, uh, the body is swamp ash, American swamp ash. And uh, the pickups are just uh, standard Allen and whistle pickups. Uh, I've I've got a few uh, Telecasters. I'm a bit of a Telecaster fan. Uh, I've also got uh, a couple of Telecasters which I've actually swapped pickups in. And I thought to myself that um, possibly I'd be plugging this in and thinking, well, if I was to have it, I'd want to swap the pickups. But no, I don't want to swap the pickups. This is fantastic. I will give you a little demonstration of this revelation. Uh, and so you can be your own judgment. Uh, I won't tell you how much it cost until after the demo. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, so I'm going to just go through the normal routine, uh, place them clean on the three positions on the switch here, uh, and then I'll go to a, a crunch, uh, and then um, we'll sort of take it from there. Okay. revelation a bit of a revelation uh, I thought I'd just do a quick demo on that just so you can hear the uh, pickup sound like in clean uh, and dirty uh, you should be able to know what it sounds like in between from there um, it's a very attractive guitar it's very lovely to play uh, I haven't had to do anything uh, to uh, in the way of setup or anything uh, but it plays instantly out of the box I think is what they say it feels a lot more expensive than it is it's a really high quality make uh, it's not satin in the least it's a bit nice got sort of uh, I don't know a shiny I think you call it um, a shiny sort of disposition all the way around uh, my favorite uh, maple neck as usual uh, American Swamp some ash it's nice and loud even acoustically so uh, yeah this is a fantastic guitar okay so uh, the uh, tech spec of the uh, Telecaster type guitar from Revelation uh, so it's um, solid body uh, American Swamp Ash is a body and it's a maple neck uh, the two pickups are Alan Entwistle pickups uh, Alan Entwistle as I said earlier a very respected man in the music business and I have to say I think, considering the price of this guitar, uh, the uh, pickups are really good quality and I look forward to sort of uh, uh, investigating it further. So Revelation, uh, I believe that they're an outfit from Wales uh, and they distribute to most towns. Um, for people who live near me in Cornwall and Bodmin, uh, if you want one of these, you can go to see uh, my man at Craig's Music. 
Uh, he is the only stockist uh, around here. Otherwise, there's stockists anywhere else in the country, whoever you see. Anyway, I never review guitars more than 500 quid because I think once you're looking at that sort of money, you probably want to go up to the next stage uh, of quality guitar. This is great quality. This sounds like it's a lot more expensive than £349 retail. It's a fantastic piece of guitar work. Um, it's got all the uh, bits and pieces that you'd want from uh, a, a Telecaster like this. The tuning pegs, really stable. I'm not sure what they are, but they look fairly traditional. And I say the uh, pickups, uh, they're actually a signature pickup by Alan Entwistle, who devises pickups. And uh, although I played, I've played this to you through my Black Star uh, uh, emulated output, so there's nothing on here that you will hear that's been gener generating anything in additional sounds. It's just what this guitar sounds like. I would recommend that this is a great buy. It's a quality buy, and I assure you that if you do buy one of these guitars, you'll keep it for the rest of your life. It's a brilliant guitar, and I love it. As much as I love the Les Pauls that I got, uh, which were secondhand, and uh, they're just as good, just as shiny, and just as meaty in terms of sound. So, revelation. It is a revelation. Well done, you guys. Thanks for sending this to me, and um, we'll speak again soon. Uh, on to the next guitar. Right, my next offering uh, comes from Harley Benton. Now, Harley Benton, uh, part of the Thoman uh, family in Germany, and uh, you've seen me review some uh, Thoman guitars before, or Harley Benton guitars, and this next one is nothing like the others that I've seen. Um, I personally think this is a fantastic guitar. It's, um, qu it's quoted as being a starter guitar, but um, I'm not exactly a starter, but you know, I do like, uh, I do know when things are good and feel good and sound good. Uh, this here is what I'm talking about. You can see the loveliness of this ST style guitar. As you can see the Harley Benton logo on it. Uh, it's matte black with a sort of, I don't know, uh, it's one of those scratch plates anyway. The contrast, I think, is fantastic. Uh, it's um, HSS in construction and pickups, normal ST uh, standard bits and pieces, uh, one, one volume, two tone, and a five position switch. Uh, tortoise shell, that's what I was looking for, tortoise shell scratch plate, but it's kind of, I don't know what this is, it's very matte, but it's a kind of shiny matte, but it, it really feels, it almost feels like carbon, uh, and it's such a nice guitar to feel, let alone play. Um, let me give you some of the tech details. So it's actually a Harley Benton ST20 HSS SBK standard series. Yeah, there's a mouthful for an inexpensive guitar for you, isn't it? Um, again, I saw this and I saw the price of it. And I thought, well, you know, we're looking at guitars that people can get if they're starting or if they're an intermediate player uh, and they don't have a lot of money in the bank or can't, can't uh, get any more quids off their parents. This one, I think, would satisfy anybody who's into the ST style guitar, but also into something sounding good for not a lot of money. Um, I'll tell you how much it costs after I've given it a little twang. Okay, so uh, as with the normal uh, attack of these things, I shall do a bit of clean, a bit of dirty, uh, and then leave it there.
well, for a cheap guitar, that whammy stays in tune. Well, the strings stay in tune, and whammy's just great. Anyway. Yes, Harley Benton. God knows what we did without Harley Benton before. Um, they've been a godsend to me. Um, when you're looking to uh, invest in some in uh, instruments to get you started, uh, back in my day, when I was very young, um, you couldn't buy anything like these because uh, they weren't made. And if they weren't made, they weren't very good. So we're living a very special time for people who want to start um, learning how to play guitar or bass and uh, find themselves as a bit of a rock star but can't afford the really big, decent stuff. But this, Harley Benton, Harley Benton, is fantastic. As you've just heard, you wouldn't believe what you've just heard only cost £66. Or if you want it in euros, €77. Euros. Or €77, Euro, as they stay in Ireland. I, uh, this is astonishing, £66. And it stays in when you press the whammy bar. I mean, that's just unspoken. That's never happened to me before. It's really comfortable to play. It reminds me of a guitar that I think I reviewed a while ago by Chord, C-H-O-R-D, and it was a Telecaster. It was kind of the same, what they call matte finish, and that matte spelt M-A-T-T-E, like mate, pate. So it's, it's fantastic. Um, it's, well, I mean, I shall be using it on my next musical project because it sounds good, and if I ever get to play live, Again, which is very doubtful at the moment, um, I will be using this. This is great. And at £66, I think I'd much rather buy 10 of these than one or something that's really expensive if it's going to get me through a tour or something like that. So I'm going to stop waving this around now. So this is the, and I will read from my paper again, it's the Harley Benton Strat style guitar. It's ST20 HSS, which is a pickup configuration. And it's the standard series matte black with a knee, matte with a knee on the end. Uh, uh, yes, Harley Benton. I really don't know what we do without them because they are pushing out some great stuff. Uh, in fact, I think I've got another one for you. Okay, last on the menu today is this beautiful Harley Benton. It's lovely, it's stunning, it's so attractive, it's just mind-bogglingly beautiful. Harley Benton, Harley Benton. I'm getting really used to that name, Harley Benton, because I say I've got a few of their guitars now. And this is just superb. This is part of their Fusion series. I did sort of see that they did sort of the Fusion with the Strat-styled guitars. Um, I didn't really sort of... Get, wasn't attracted to finishes so I never really sort of got into those ones but when I saw this come up I just thought yes this looks absolutely fantastic and it is it's very solid in make um, again I would imagine it's um, made in one of the uh, Asian uh, countries um, it's got what it looks like a, a rosewood neck on a plate on top of a maple neck uh, it's nice the way that the, uh, the the color on the body goes through to the headstock. That's a really attractive part of this. And I don't know if I can show you, but um, the wood effect that, uh, that um, you can see around the bottom and the sides is really, really nice. It's really nicely sculpted. Uh, if, you, if you're one of those there who likes to hit the real high, high, high highs, you can get up there really comfortably. Uh, and it's just a superb thing. I don't do that sort of thing because I'm not a shredder in that particular way. I just like to play melodies. But um, this is a really fabulously stonking guitar with two humbuckers. Again, not sure. Can we split them? Yes, we can split them. So that's on the tone control. Uh, it's a three position switch. And um, just so you can see that. So there you go. It's there. Pop it back in there. Oh, didn't see that in there. Both like yeah. three position switch, which is standard for these things. Uh, unlike the uh, TE70 that I 
um, showed you on my last vlog this is just a normal um, hip shot bridge I would imagine and it's not string through but it doesn't matter it's lovely it's fantastic uh, this not only comes as a uh, a whammy bar model but you can get just a hard bridge without a whammy bar if you wanted to and I think it's the same price but um, it's nice to see how these things work in their fineness and in their brilliance list. Um, I suppose I'd better give you a little listen then shall we? Shall we have a little listen to Harley Renton, Harley Renton. <laughs> Okay, so Harley Benton, yet again, what a fantastic guitar this is. Uh, it sounds great, it's so well made, comfortable, yeah, uh, I can't really say anything else about it, but I think you want to know how much it costs. Well, it costs £249. 249 English pounds for this hunk of beautifulness, loudness, chunkiness, splangness whatever you want it's really really worth the money and uh, again i'll say how harley benton makes such great guitars for such a f fantastic affordable price i don't know but long may they continue doing that so as i said that's the only part of the fusion range that i've actually liked so far i didn't particularly go for the stratocasters styled um guitars that they produced but uh, i'm glad they've come up trumps with the telecaster style or TE style guitar. Anyway, so that Harley Benton is a big, big one. Boom! So that's uh, three guitars for you on uh, this edition of My Time TV. TV is My Time TV. Uh, big thank you to the guys at Revelation. Uh, great guitar, great guitars. Look them up on the web website on Re under Revelation Guitars. Uh, you're going to see a lot more stuff uh, from them. And uh, I might even have a look at it myself because they've got some pretty keen looking uh, Telecasters and, and Strat styled and LP style. So uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, also a big thank you to Toman. Um, keep up the good work because uh, people like me really appreciate and really dig what you're doing. 
Um, so, yeah, and this is a real pleasure to be able to do this. Um, I'm going to be doing something, hopefully, on my next edition, do something really, really, um, well, I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to say anything about it just now, but um, I think if I can either do it on the next vlog or the one after that, just depends if things are ready, I will do that. Anyway, so that's enough from me read guitars, and um, I wonder what's next. Hmm. Oh, bass. Big country bass line. And my dogs are barking. <clears throat> okay, as promised, uh, Pop Biggers. Um, I'm going to play a uh, different bass, big country bass line now. This was the Sia, uh, and I'm going to sort of try and play it the way that I played it when we recorded it, which is using the slap technique. Okay, so I shall play it once, the intro, and then I'll do it slowly. Two, three, four. Once again, slower. And the verse is even simpler. Two, three, four. so easy I'm not going to bother to do that again so the second half of the verse is pretty much like the introduction okay the bridge part uh, again quite simple and the chorus part uh, again, quite simple, kind of like the introduction as well. So I'll play it at speed, then I'll do it slowly. One, two, three, four. So that's the chorus. And the instrumental that follows the chorus is pretty much the same. I'll just do that again slowly. again for the instrumental that follows the chorus. And that's it, The Seer. Excellent track, one of my favourites I think, uh, and I hope you enjoy playing it. Cool. Yeah, The Seer, um, pretty simple, uh, especially if you're good at um, slapping. Uh, as I say, I recorded it that way because of the attitude of the song and the kind of drive and, and how it mixed with the drums. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's more of a, an effect rather than a sort of slapping technique. It's just what worked. Anyway, so, uh, well, there's a choo-choo train coming. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the uh, end of my current vlog, vlog number five. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the guitars that you've seen, and I hope you enjoyed um, the uh, rudiments of the song The Seer on bass. As you would see that I'm still using my uh, Chowney Vantage Tony Butler's signature bass. It's so uh, it's so everything I wanted in a bass guitar. It does everything that uh, my old Fender P bass did, and a little bit more. And uh, even for the slapping technique, it sounds really good. Anyway, 
if you want to uh, look into the Chowney Retrovive TB signature guitar, just get onto Chowney's website, C-H-O-W-N-Y, and uh, just go and say, Tony sent you, and uh, you'll want to look at one of his bass guitars, which is not only my signature ones, but he's got many, many more. And also for those who are looking for the similar thing who are into, into vintage uh, basses, I've got my uh, V4 TBM uh, through vintage. And uh, again, that's been a really popular guitar because it's very much based on my Fender precision bass that uh, I, I used quite a lot back in the day. Anyway, that's all for me for this one. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this current one. Don't forget, we've got a special one either next time or the time before that. I won't say anything about it, but I'm looking forward to presenting it to you. Anyway, for now, ciao. Bye. Ones that I have loved, I'll love TV. forever. Over and peace out. I'm just an ordinary man. Trying to make some sense of what I'm supposed to be. I opened up my big Ferrari car. Some kind of quality Mother, father, children, brother Wife, good friends and lovers Men in musical arms to name the few My love I've spread like sweetened jam To fortify my soul Abigail